Hello， 观众朋友，大家好！第八十九届奥斯卡提名名单在今天早上出炉了，大家究竟是怎么想的呢？而在美国，我们现在就在好莱坞的中心，我们就在 Universal Studio 正前方。在我身边呢是两位时光我非常资深的记者，一位是 Todd Gilchrist， 一位是 Brent Simon。两人在这一行呢都已经有超过十八年的报道经验了，而且一位是 HFPA 好莱坞外国记者协会的一员，另一位则是洛杉矶评论协会的成员。究竟他们对这个提名名单有什么看法呢？让我们赶快听听看吧。So guys, what do we think? A lot of interesting nominations this morning.、Uh, La La Land led with 14 nominations, tying a record set by All About Eve and Titanic for most nominations.、Uh, second place, Moonlight and Arrival each had eight nominations.、Uh, Todd, what do you think about the Best Picture nominees? Arrival was maybe the one that I was maybe most surprised that received as much attention as it did. I mean, it's an absolutely incredible movie, but it's been kind of like a. A, a dark horse in the in the competition because of so many other films that I actually was not that surprised by most of the rest of the nominees because I felt like they'd been in the conversation throughout the majority of the award season. In the actor category, I think you know one surprise is possibly Tom Hanks、uh, being snubbed or not being nominated for Sully. I think Viggo Mortensen sort of slid in there with Captain Fantastic.、Uh, for Best Actor, I wasn't very surprised with the results, but、um, I was happy, very happy to see, of course, Ryan Gosling to get the nomination. Because he is like the god to many Chinese girls, and I think he did a great job in singing and conveying emotion at the same time in the film La La Land. Let's jump to the lead actress category.、Um, you know, there were some interesting choices here. I think maybe two notable exceptions:、uh, Amy Adams and Annette Bening, both being overlooked, was kind of sad for me on a personal level. Those were two two of my favorite performances, female performances of the year.、Uh, Todd, what did you think? Well, I was really、uh, gratified to see Isabella Bear nominated for Elle. She was so incredible in it that、uh, that I'm really happy to see that she received a nomination that I think is very well earned and well deserved. And Meryl Streep received her record-setting 20th nomination for Florence Foster Jenkins. How about for supporting actor? What do you guys think? You know, for supporting actor, I have to say.、Um, Don't have any problems or, or issues with any of the nominees. I was disappointed not to see Sonny Pawar as、uh, nominated either in his stead or as well, because that performance anchors the first hour of Lion, which is, I think, a really remarkable movie. And I think, particularly for a child, it is just an amazing, amazing performance.、Um, in the best supporting actress category, what are your thoughts on on this category, Lillian? My vote, personal vote, would definitely go to Viola Davis. She did such an exceptional job, and especially in a film that is so heavy on the speech and monologue, I thought she conveyed, she carried the plot really well with her performance. The director category,、um, I was really heartened personally to see Denny Villeneuve nominated for Arrival,、um, but I think the big, big surprise in this category is really Mel Gibson for Hacksaw Ridge. Denny getting nominated, I think, is a testament. Not even, I mean, it's funny how his career really is only beginning. And yet, and yet, this feels like a reward for prisoners.、Um, that I feel like this is,、uh, in a way, overdue. Actually, kind of wrapping up.、Uh, what are some of the other maybe surprises or notable themes or nominations in in really any category? Oscars for the past two years having critique of being Oscars so white and not giving as much attention to. Films or actors、uh, with color, but this year we're seeing they're giving a lot of love to say Moonlight, Fences, and Hidden Figures. You know, I think one thing that struck out or stuck out to me was the animated feature film category. I think you see a lot of variety in the、uh, international variety, honestly, in the the animated feature film category with films like My Life as a Zucchini and The Red Turtle,、um, and I think that only that only augurs good things for. The future of animation. The the one disappointment that I had was to, that that The Handmaiden did not get nominated for anything in terms of、uh, best foreign film or you know I mean it was certainly one of my two or three favorite movies of the year. We hope you've enjoyed our thoughts and、uh, be sure to follow along here on M Time for all sorts of、uh, award season coverage throughout the Oscar seasons. We talk about these films and some of the other performances that really held a special place in our place in our heart this year.